This is the Willow Beach Overlook, the harbor. This is where you would rent your watercrafts, whether it be a, a kayak or a boat, or if you had your own boat. As you can see by the parking lot, it's pretty, pretty busy. There's a lot of people out here. That's good. Feel free to hit pause if you want to see that. Same with that. And that. That one's not very pleasant. But on the overlook, they have uh, picnic tables. They have restrooms up there. The reason that there is nobody here is because it's hot. This is down at the uh, the marina where they have uh, maps of the area and this is the marina itself where you can rent your boats, uh, jet skis, kayaks. Uh, right down there is the, the location where you do that. Well, we're down here at the restaurant for breakfast. We're going to get some from the store though, so we'll be ready for the next two days. It's a nice little place though. Breakfast burrito. Looks pretty good. Sorry. Still got to back down in here pretty deep, but it doesn't look real bossy. We were supposed to be at Mount Charleston, but let me show you what was going on at Mount Charleston and why we had to cancel that yep. reservation and uh, end up at Willow Beach. The floodwaters destroyed roads, washed out trails, and left many people without a way to leave their home. Mount Charleston Assistant Fire Chief Jason Douglas says the boil water notice will remain in effect for several days as workers remain in the area to assessment uh, for the assessment phase. Officials say in addition to significant damage to Kyle Canyon Road, around 2,000 feet of pavement on Echo Canyon Road was wiped out by the flooding. My name is Yesenia. Okay. I'm Tracy. Tracy? And yeah. we're sister in law. We've been knowing each other since uh, we were 12 years old. We're about to be 39. This We went cliff diving today. <laughs> awesome. Where? Yeah. Um, so there's a little cliff right here. It's crazy because the water went down just a little bit. So you yeah. could kind of walk there the whole way through. The and then just you had to jump the cliff. You jumped That's the cliff great. on the side. She jumped the cliff for the first time. Yeah. And she took yeah. the cliff. How was that? And she took the cliff. Was that awesome? Uh, it was scary. Yeah. It was scary. Was the first time. She held my hand on the okay. way down and she kind of felt like that. <laughs> Belly flop? <laughs> yeah. Super. Awesome. Uh, yeah, but it was pushing super great. every day. It's a beautiful day and it's a blessing to wake up every day and see what God has blessed us but with. It's, there's nothing in 100%. Vegas like over here. There's nothing. Amen. There's nothing. You could. It could be a like couple degrees cooler, maybe. It is. Oh, yeah. It is. <laughs> Thank you. 
Willow Beach Campground. We got a fire pit. This one's a pull through. We don't need a pull through necessarily, but it's nice to have. Pretty good views. Not a lot of trees, not a lot of shade. They do have full hookups, which is necessary this time of year because it's hot. Picnic tables, fire pit, fire ring, which they keep clean. And this little area here where I guess you put your tent and everything, that's always, that's raked. Very nice, very well kept, very clean. Included with your $75 a night. <laughs> These restrooms, um, what's up there? Laundry, showers, you get a shower card. Okay, so with your fee, you get a shower card that opens these doors, and then you can go do showers. Laundry card. And you can also do laundry. Four showers, it looks like. And one laundry. Four showers, one laundry. Okay. Well, that's pretty cool, I guess. So there's our little spot right there. Well, they also have this site C4 at Willow Beach. They also have... ADA compliant campsites right here and we didn't notice a whole lot other than um, it's wider which makes sense so same setup they've got the same nice setup fire pit I would have thought their picnic table maybe had a spot for wheelchair but it doesn't but it does make it nice and wide in here so that's cool it's called chasing shade <laughs> end result I took another shellacan from that one cut off the stem Done. That noise you hear is the air conditioner because it's 103 degrees out here. So we're doing this inside. That is so cool. I love this hack. All the seeds there. <laughs> I love it. Almost clean. I love it. I love it. I love it. <laughs>